Hello, I'd like to talk to you today about high cost of medical care. Some of the things that drive that would be the high liability insurance that doctors and hospitals have to carry, uh, pharmaceutical companies, uh, also the high cost for equipment, training for doctors and nurses. But one thing you don't hear about is the cost of insurance for individuals, how that relates to the high cost of medical care. I can say from my own experience, a couple months ago, my wife had her neck operated on. The hospital bill alone was $40,000, but thanks to the insurance we had, well, there was a $27,000 write-off. So the insurance was only left paying a little over $12,000 for the operation. Now, I'm glad I had the insurance, but I have to believe that the insurance is also putting themselves in the position to determine how much certain operations and procedures should cost. I think that should be left up to the caregivers the doctors, the hospitals, and all that. Because what happens is the insurance company, if they have a lot of clout and a lot of people in the area use that insurance, they can force prices down for them, and that means the hospital has to raise the price to everybody else to offset the losses they're taking. And I'm not saying they're taking losses, but they're not making the profit they need in order to run a good business, and that's what medical care is. That's your Minute with Monty. Thank you.